Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of this CMU file organizer bag. It says fireproof document bag with money bag office, uh, home travel, safe bag with lock, multi layer, portable filing, storage, and so on. Uh, it's listed currently for around $32 on Amazon, has good reviews. So, this is the thing which uh, how it's listed. Uh, and look at the difference here it looks like as a very solid attache case and here we have something like this is this the same yeah for me it's definitely not looking as the same this is a dirt cheap thing and here it's looking very solid but let's take it out of the box and see uh, how this really is but uh, already at the beginning very huge disappointment for me so this is it here. So what I'm going to do in this video, I'll put all my valuable documents in it and then throw it into the fire. No, of course, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, there are a lot of videos already on YouTube, how this works when you put this into a fire. I don't have to do this again. If you don't want to take the time to watch this, I can already tell you, yeah, this thing is really fireproof. Uh, but only for a couple of seconds or maybe for a couple of minutes after that uh, it's hopeless I mean if you have all your documents stored here inside and your home burns down yeah there is nothing left I can guarantee you you won't even recognize this thing anymore it's not only that the things inside will burn down no this whole bag will burn like to small pieces you won't even recognize anymore that it has been some case here that's crazy so how can they say it's fireproof i mean yeah okay it's uh, written on paper or on the internet and uh, everybody can tell everything so if you're looking for something which can protect your documents even when your whole home is burning down to the ground uh, that's not the thing which you want to buy but anyway it's going to be very difficult you will have to buy a huge uh, metal safe or something like that it's it's going to be really difficult to find something definitely it's not possible to buy it at this price unfortunately i have to disappoint but it, it it's still better than nothing i mean uh, there are always some parts in a home which are not totally burned or maybe uh, somebody will catch it while it starts to burn and then maybe if this thing is just uh, in the fire for a couple of seconds or for a couple of minutes then the chance that things here inside will survive is much higher but again if it burns for a longer time nothing will be left so don't have too high expectations so this is what we get some Chinese here some instructions about the lock here as well in english yeah, it's not rocket science you have to push down the button then you can change the numbers and then you push from the side and then you can reset so this is how this looks inside nothing too crazy rather weak regarding the size this is a full size uh, letter or letter size you can see that fits easily I would say even like an A4 European size which is a little bit larger than that would fit so absolutely no problem regarding the size but there is nothing stable here look at this so how can they make a picture like this where it looks the, like, like a solid wall on all the sides and then you get something like this super cheap uh, it's definitely not what you want to buy I mean this is $32 you can buy similar things for uh, about 22 or 23 dollars if you want to buy something like that uh, you can even get it for uh, 20 25 dollars or so you don't have to spend 32 dollars it's definitely uh, too expensive this thing here so unfortunately I uh, cannot make the picture larger because of the black because yeah my wide angle camera is really catching the black color really bad and so you wouldn't see anything so I hope it still helps you a little bit yeah regarding the zipper here you can see this zipper for me it looks definitely like a normal zipper this is not a waterproof zipper I mean uh, for a little bit uh, two minutes range hour it would be okay but not for longer time the waterproof zippers they look definitely different i don't know how this would be really waterproof i mean this is somehow coated a little bit here the material everywhere uh, definitely a little bit of a coating so it would survive a little bit more water 
than without this coating but the zipper definitely not waterproof don't expect that you can submerge it like for five minutes and it will be totally dry that's not going to happen here we have a handle that's also very cheap i mean it's it's strong you, it, it can hold quite some weight definitely no doubt about that here we have something which I don't even know what it could be or how it could be helpful. The inside, really a lot of these things, a lot of things for credit cards, other cards, like passports, these things, no, no complaints about that, but there's nothing really stable, nothing solid inside here. Yeah, I think now I can zoom out a little bit that you get a better impression about that, but you won't see the details anymore so much. But yeah, for me, definitely it, it's a fail, I would say. Yeah, what I wanted to show you is the lock. So if you have already bought this, this maybe can help you a little bit. Here we have the lock. Now I'm going back to the other camera. So here we have this button on top and maybe you can hear the clicking sound. Yeah, we had the clicking sound and now it's loose. What's the problem here? That you really have to push hard, really, really hard to move this around. Now you can see we are on a zero, zero, 004 and we push here to confirm. And now it, it's opening only with the zero, zero, 004 and not with the zero, zero, 0000 anymore. And when we want to put it back to the triple zero, we can do this again and go to uh, zero. The only thing is really that it's quite hard. You really have to push hard uh, to move these numbers here. I have never seen that or not seen that, uh, something like that in long time. How hard this is to switch and we have to confirm and now it's opening with this triple uh, zero again. Of course, this is then how this lock really works. Uh, we have to put the both ends of the zipper here on this side and we have to push it in and then we add the end of the zippers here. The problem is when we push one inside, the other one always goes out. Let's see this. Now this is out. We push again. This, this is out. Yeah, we can do this 100 times. There's always just one inside. It's almost impossible. And the big, big problem is that when we push here, I mean, we have to push here somehow a little bit, then it's pushing the whole lock inside. And then, uh, yeah, it, it's difficult. I mean, this works with a hard suitcase really well. I have a couple of suitcases where it works really well, but here for this thing here, it's totally not working. So this is it. I mean, definitely no recommendation, but it's up to you to decide if you want to buy it or not. And so I will put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description anyway, so you can do whatever you want to do. But I'll put down also a link to another one, which I would say is exactly the same thing, but just about $10 cheaper. And uh, so if you want to buy something like that and probably go with that one. But I still hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. I'm always happy to talk about your things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.